For question number 8, we are going to graph the equation y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 5. And notice that this is an equation of a parabola. And whenever we are trying to graph an equation for parabolas, what we need first is to the vertex. We need to find the vertex first. And for this one, notice that we have the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And this is a standard form. We have this standard form that the vertex is going to be at x equals to the vertex formula, which is negative b over 2a. And that's the first number that we have to calculate. And the strategy is, once we get the vertex, we are going to create a table of points, five points, and then we can do our graph. Let's look at this equation and identify the value of a and b. C doesn't really matter because we are not doing the quadratic formula. Anyways, the number in front of the x squared is the value for a. And notice that we have a negative x squared, so it's like saying negative 1. So I have a being negative 1. And b is a number in front of the x, which is a positive 4 in our situation. So a is negative 1, and b is equal to 4. Then I can use this formula to find the vertex. I know the vertex is going to be at x equals to negative b. My b is equal to 4. So I have negative 4 on the top over 2 times a on the bottom. a is equal to negative 1. Negative 1. And we, let's do the calculation. This right here will be negative 4 over negative 2. And we will get 2 for the x. That's the x value for the uh, vertex. And now, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a table. And we are going to put the vertex in the middle. Then we can do the graph. And let me show you. Let's do the table right here. I will put the x value first. And then I will write down y is equal to that equation, which is negative x squared plus 4x plus 5, and then I will also have a point, so this is a point uh, on my third column, and we're going to have, let's, let's do it with 5 points, so let me draw the table like this, and we need to put the x value for the vertex in the middle, so x is equal to 2, I will put that in the middle, because that's going to be where the vertex is. That's the center, okay? That's when x is equal to 2. And once we know the x value, we can just plug in the x value into the y equations and we can solve for y. So we know y will be plugging 2 into x, I will get negative, and x is equal to 2. So let me put parentheses 2 squared plus 4 times. The x value is equal to 2, and I have plus 5 yet. And for this one, let's see, we have negative 4 plus 8, which is positive 4 plus 5, so we have 9. So the y value right here, the result is equal to 9. That means the point that we get is x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 9. And that's the vertex. Vertex is going to be a point. So perhaps I'll show you guys how to graph this. And this is the x-axis. And here are my y-axis. And let me just do the lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for the y, I have to go up to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And let's do one more test. So the first point that we have is 2, 9. So x is 2, uh, 1, 2, and go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's my first point, which is my vertex. One point is not enough, so let's finish the table. And the way to finish this table is that once we have the vertex being in the middle, 
we are going to pick its neighbor numbers. So what number is after two? Well, three words and then also let's use four. So plug in three and then also plug in four. Let's look at this one. If x is equal to three, I will plug in three into the equation and then get y. y will be negative three squared plus four times the x is three and plus five. And this is just calculation. You can just do it on your calculator. And let's see, this will be negative 9 plus 12, which is um, 3, plus 5, we'll get 8. Okay? So I will get a second point, which I will have. Maybe, which I will have? x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 8. 3, 8 for the second point. And perhaps we can graph it. 1, 2, 3. And A will be right here. So let me just put dot right here. This is 3, 8 for the second point. And let's do another one when x is equal to 4. Similarly, just plugging 4 into all the x, I will have y equals to negative 4 squared plus 4 times 4 plus 5. And once again, this is just calculation. This is negative 16 plus 16, which is 0, plus 5, which will have 5. So the other point that we have, x is equal to 4, and y is equal to 5. 4, 5, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's somewhere right here. Okay, just somewhere right here. And perhaps on your test, um, you will be provided with a little graph paper, so you can make your graph much prettier than the ones that I have right here. So this is just one, one side of the parabola that we have. So we start with the middle number, the vertex, which is equal to 2, right? x is equal to 2. And then we pick 3 and 4. Let's also use the other side, right? Then this is what I mean by the neighbor numbers. If, you, if your middle is 2, you can go 3, 4, and you can go up as well, like, which is, well, the number less than 2, which is 1, and then 0. Okay? And once we're plugging this, let's see, this will be y is equal to plugging 1 into all the x. I have negative 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 5. So let's see, this is negative 1 plus 4, which is positive 3, and plus 5, it's 8. Okay? So you should work out the calculation, and if you do the calculation, you get 8. And for this one, we get x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 8. And notice that this 8 and that 8 um, are the same. It's not because of coincidence. They will always be the same if you do it like this. If the vertex is in the middle, once you pick its neighbor numbers, okay, then once you get 8, this is guaranteed to be 8. But I highly recommend you guys to um, do the calculations to double check with your answers. Okay? Similarly, I know this is 5 right here. I can expect this part right here, the number I will get from this calculation, will also to be 5. And let's check this out. Plugging 0 into all the x that we get y equals to negative, let's do use the parentheses, negative x, negative 0 squared plus 4 times x, which is 0 again, plus 5 like this. Okay? And this is just 0 plus 0 plus 5. See? Once again, this is 5, and it's the same as the one that we got right here. It always has to be the same, like that. And this is what we call, it's being symmetric. If you put the vertex in the middle, these numbers have to be the same, and these two numbers will also have to be the same as well. This point will be 0, 5. x being 0, y being 5. Okay? Then we can just uh, come, here, come back here and then finish the graph. I have 1, 8. So 1 is right here, 8 is right here. Okay? And then the other point 
the last one that we have is 0, 5. When x is 0, it's, you just begin right here and you go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it stops right here. Okay. And then what you do is just connect these five points with a nice parabola. And notice that this parabola is like a stat face, like a stat face. It's open upside down, right? And we technically know that because you see the number in front of the x square, right? If the a value is negative, you can expect to have this kind of shape for the parabolas. And that's it.